Hello Nord Anglia students. Um, my name is Alexis Deacon and I'm the author and illustrator of several books including some of them uh, behind me here. But for all you space enthusiasts, uh, the one you probably know me best for is Bigu. Now I have a question for all of you. If you were going on a journey through space uh, to visit Bigu, what would you need to bring with you on your voyage? I've got the book Bigu, but I've also got the book Bigu inside an iPad. And when I click the pages, I can read it on my iPad. Do you think I can put other books onto the same iPad? Yeah. Yeah. I know the big How many books do you think I can fit on one iPad? One million. One million? One half. One thousand hundred? No, one infinite. One, whoa. Infinite. Infinity books? You can fit thousands and thousands and thousands of books onto one iPad. So, if we were going into space, would we take all of these books around me now, yep. or would we get some digital books? Digital. Yeah, well done. It's a great solution to our heavy book problem. Bigu by Alexis Deacon. Bigu was not supposed to be here. She was lost. No one seemed to understand her. Some wouldn't even stay still to listen. From far away, she thought she heard her mother calling. Bring, 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 bring. But it wasn't her. Bigu didn't like being alone. She needed to find some friends. And she did at last. What on earth? But Bigu wasn't wanted there, it seemed. Then she thought she'd found the perfect place. And it was. But not everyone thought so. Wait! Her friends wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye! Once again, from far away, she thought she heard her mother calling, but she knew it couldn't be. Could it? It was! Bigu told her parents all about life on Earth how earth creatures were mostly big and unfriendly, but there were some small ones who seemed hopeful. Bigu would always remember those small ones. She hoped they would remember her too.